Bonjour. Bonjour à tous et toutes. Hello, everyone. I am glad to open the last artist talks of this uh, Paris Photo edition, Artistos by the Eyes. Uh, this last talks will be dedicated to a program that exists since five years at Paris Photo, a program called Carte Blanche Étudiant, Carte Blanche Students. This program was funded together by Paris Photo, Picto Foundation, which is a foundation of Picto Lab in Paris, and SNCF Gare Connexion. SNCF Gare Connexion, which is organizing exhibition, cultural exhibition in uh, uh, all uh, sta um, train stations in France. Carte Blanche students propose each year to uh, identify and to welcome at the fair uh, four uh, uh, students uh, uh, to present their work and uh, uh, their projects and to give them the opportunity to meet collectors, festival organizers, uh, galleries, all the eco and cultural system uh, uh, of the photography world. So this year, we uh, had the opportunity to welcome four of them. And you can, after the, the talk, you can uh, see again their, their booth and their discover their portfolio uh, just behind me in the fair. Uh, first of all, I have the honor to welcome Mina Boroman. Please, Mina, can you join me? You can, you can sit here. Yeah, it's up to you. Hello, Mina. How are you? can take a, a micro. Like that? Yeah, it's yeah. okay, it works. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, I'm Welcome. Good. I'm good. Welcome. At Paris Photo since five days or four days and, uh, and for the talks. So uh, you are coming from the London Metropolitan University in uh, uh, London, United Kingdom. Uh, you are uh, an artist from Iran and you are based and you live in London. Correct. Uh, you discovered, uh, I don't know if it's a long time ago or a few years ago, you will explain us, that you, you had a disease known under the name of aphantasis. You will, you will explain us precisely okay. maybe what it is. And this disease uh, avoid you to represent mental images. Donc, un, un, une maladie appelée l'emphasie, pardon, le, le, la fantasie, qui l'empêche d'avoir une représentation mentale. Uh, this uh, revelation uh, brings you to start a creative project based on the exploration of the absence of images, visual images in your mind. And all your, your work is based on this exploration and observation. And you, you realize that this special condition uh, linked to this disease uh, didn't uh, uh, block your creativity, but uh, uh, extend it in a way. So the selected images that we will see on the screen uh, are uh, in a way emblematical of the, the, the emotional link you, you, uh, uh, they have to your memories. So they are your link to your memories. Uh, you use them to express your experience of, of the exile, in a way, because, as we said, you are from Iran. Uh, and so, technically, then it will be also interesting to understand how you make them, because it's, it's like a different surprise on the same image, different stage on the same image, different niveaux sur la même image. So, like uh, uh, pieces of memories, of mental memories. You know, that sort of so, please, can you maybe start from the beginning okay. of, of this story? To correct you, um, uh, aphantasia is not a disease, mm -hmm. it's a condition. Uh, as you said, uh, this is uh, when uh, the person uh, cannot produce picture in the mind. So for instance, if you close your eyes and think of um, apple, uh, the per person, which is me, uh, cannot uh, see it. I cannot see the uh, image of the apple. So when I discovered that uh, I have this condition, uh, I was so surprised and uh, uh, 
excited. I wanted to know more about this uh, condition. Uh, so um, I followed the work of uh, Professor Adam Zeman, a uh, neurologist uh, uh, who works in, uh, with a team of scientists uh, and uh, uh, had a great research on, on this uh, subject. So, um, uh, also, when I, when I found out that, that I have it, I wanted to find the answer to too many questions. So, how my brain work, how uh, have I had it uh, from early early age? Uh, I mean, I born with this condition, or um, or because of the traumatic uh, uh, experience I had throughout my life, uh, I become a fantastic. But so w when did you discover that? Uh, when you were young or recently? When when did you discover this? this that I have yes. this condition uh, about 2019. So very recently. Yes, yes. I didn't. I didn't know that I have it. That's that's why I was surprised. So. Um, but but sorry. But is it something you think you had since since uh, childhood? Since childhood. Or birth, no, or I don't you, know. You, do, you you can't know, and you and you never, you never faced this this sentiment or having this kind of problem before. No. And why? When when did you realize that that, that you had this? problem of specificity or did you see that see or feel that uh, as I said uh, after I discovered that I have uh, I mean I was listening to radio BBC and uh, they they tell you for instance close your eyes uh, see the image and there, there was lots of there were lots of questions and answers and then I've done it when while they were talking about it and then I realized that I have this condition so since then I was I, I knew and then I answered too many questions because uh, it makes sense that the way I work I'm, I'm very experimental uh, my work is all over uh, pl I mean I do all different uh, style of working use different uh, um, even uh, like different camera different uh, like Making image, different process of making image. O always photography. N always no. visual. Visu visual. visual. Yeah, Vis visual. Yes. Okay. And to find out that I uh, I don't have uh, I cannot visualize things. It just make it more uh, interesting and uh, answer the question the way I do because I um, I was always amazed that how I can. I cannot stop myself. When I start something, I don't plan it. And uh, if I have a project, I just say, OK, this is my project. I know the concepts of the project. Then I just go and just pick a few things and start from there. And then suddenly, I mean suddenly, no, I mean in process, I, I make lots and lots of different uh, images for my work. And I now I know that's why I used to do that. I mean, now this is the way I work. I mean, I'm very experimental. But so d do you think the way you are working or your images are really different since you know that you have this condition? Ah. Or, or it was your image were already like this before you know? You All right, yeah, I, I was always like that. But then uh, specifically for this project, my aim was to explain, produ uh, create an image to, uh, to show that how brain of a, fan a fantastic person work, basically, or see. Um, that's why I started with uh, pattern. Uh, the beginning of the pro process of the uh, project was uh, collecting, picturing pattern, because uh, this is when I close my eyes, all, either I see nothing or some kind of um, pattern uh, uh, emerge. So, um, and then after that, I started to, uh, I did my research and also uh, through the research, I, I decided to uh, have uh, my dissertation and thesis uh, about uh, uh, aphantasia uh, based on a uh, case study, which was my, my case. And then I went through my life uh, story. 
And also another thing that just triggered this project, it was uh, uh, I, I read the book by uh, Ursula Ligon, uh, uh, Carrier Bag, the uh, Theory of Fiction, which is about uh, telling a st uh, female, female a woman telling a story. This is such an important thing because throughout the uh, human history, uh, women always were carrying and caring and uh, uh, holding uh, seeds or baby or, and uh, that's, uh, it was so powerful. I thought, um, I have, I'm gonna tell my story through that project. So when you see that I have, uh, um, my story is like, uh, I, when I look at one, one image, which is an image of wood, uh, is a specific, uh, yeah, is the, at the beginning or but after that? What, what is also, also interesting is that, as you said, you are visually, you are, you are going in many, many directions. Yes. So is that something uh, 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 you do since the beginning or, 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 or is it all this research you, you, you made that d d made you go in very yeah. different visual yes. directions, you know, yes. because you have things made with pixels other images, or which is more composition, or sometimes it's it, it totally different. Yes, so. I use different methods. I mean, I, I went uh, I here, is specifically that special image is uh, from the wood and took me to back to my childhood and the memory of my parents and uh, the, and the revolution that w which I involved uh, inv I was involved in 1979, and then the other image is. Uh, picture of me in Afghanistan. Uh, also, it was when I exiled to Afghanistan in 1985-6 and experienced the uh, horrible time that peop Afghani people they had in uh, under uh, Taliban attack. So uh, there were all the layers of, I went, I went back, back, back to my memories and the story. So, what you see at the end of the collection of 15 images uh, for this Aphantasia uh, um, uh, project is all about telling my story and going, coming back to, to that. So you mean that it's, it's, uh, it's useful for you as something for your, for your health and for your uh, 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 mental state, and, it's, and then it's also use, useful for, uh, the, for the public or for, you know, just to, to to, to, to have nice images in, in, in front of us. So that, that's interesting to have this kind of balance between what it, it will bring you as a, as, a, as a human person, you know, and what it can bring to, to, a, to, a, to, to anyone and the conceptual images. Thank you, yeah. Um, yeah, I... I uh yeah, this is how. <laughs> yeah, I think so I agree, this is the most difficult. <laughs> just the most difficult to attend in, in in art, you know, to be able to to express your own sens sensibility, sense, you know, uh, 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 and and to and to propose a conceptual and aesthetical way to do it. So I think you, you really catch the attention like this. Yeah, I and think uh, through through all the um, trauma and uh, difficult time uh, through my life. Uh, I, am, I am so grateful that I have this condition because uh, I cannot remember the past and uh, um, that's amazing. So uh, that's why I need to go to, to look at the pictures, uh, collect uh, uh, objects like uh, uh, which I did on my series and uh, yeah, come back to that. And so we can we can see your your uh, nice portfolio uh, over there. Uh, but what what is the finality of this work? Is it to to make uh, small prints or bigger prints? Is it something more intimate or something more huge for galleries? Or I, how, I how, how, do you see, how do you see it? I love to do to make it uh, huge for galleries and. Uh, uh, presented uh, in different places because this is an unknown condition and uh, surely lots of people they have this condition and uh, uh, to see to see uh, how yeah different people they have different way of seeing uh, I think is uh, important and is yeah, yeah and uh, what about then this experience at Paris Photo 
uh, in, in, uh, to, 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 to do that, to meet this kind of people. Was it interesting for you, this, this experience? Definitely, yeah. a lot. Yeah, that, that was my, my hope and wish that uh, if there is, the, the, uh, yeah, is it, uh, there is any opportunity for displaying my work, uh, I'm, uh, I'm grateful and happy to do so, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Nam you for your thank for you. your presentation. If you have thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Any question to ask to me now about about her work? Uh, if not, I really thank you a lot to to share that with us. And uh, thank you very much. And like the three other photographers, you can you can see uh, after the talk the portfolio of me uh, on their booth. Thank you very much. Thank Merci you. Beaucoup. Thank you very much. Thank you. So now